so we just wanted to welcome you. My name is Elizabeth Garlow, and I'm the director of Michigan Corps, which is the organization that launched a program here called Kiva Flint um, about six months ago. So we're gonna tell you a little bit more about that. So first I'm gonna have Adrian just say hello and talk a little bit about Flint Soup. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi. Um, I'm Adrian Montague. I'm the executive director of Flint Soup. Um, and I would say, if I could describe soup, you know, I was brainstorming with my family. I was like, what can I possibly say? And I would say that, um, I know this is going to be a silly comparison, but that's okay. I would say that Flint Soup is sort of like a, the Willy Wonka of organizations in Flint. Like anything is possible. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you know, that's what, I, that's what I really want to cultivate here. Like where people can have an idea and then create it. I mean, because we're all so creative. And we have, and I really want Flint Soup to be like the heartbeat of Flint. Because the heartbeat is truly the people. And, and it's our best resource. So um, about, I would say, a little, sorry, my heart's beating so fast. <laughs> so bear with me. I know you love me. Um, but um, a little over a year ago, um, I was sitting at a Detroit soup event. And I looked around and I said, I really want this for my community. So I just started working towards that, that vision and that goal. So what I really wanted after, like, because how do I put this? When people start going for their passion, working towards their goal, like, your community comes alive. Like, people start dreaming again. And because I went after my goal, and look at, I mean, all of you guys are here. We're, we're doing this together. I want other people to experience that, that joy of, creating something new and having the community come out and support them. So Flint Soup is a platform for connection and uh, I just make this space available for the people who are doing cool things. I mean we do this every single month and every single month I'm completely floored by, by the stuff that's happening. Like I've met incredible people and I had no idea this was going on. And I'm around town a lot. Um, so. I wanted to show the community like there are amazing things that are happening and, and I'm so thankful that these people are here so we really want to highlight what's going on. So um, that's, that's pretty much fun to see. Great. And then, so really, Adrian and I came together um, tonight to basically bring two organizations together under one platform or one umbrella. Um, so one is Flint Soup, and then the other initiative is something called Kiva Flint. And Kiva is a website where you can actually directly invest in local small businesses here in the Flint community. So we provide small loans to help people start or grow a business, loans up to $5,000. And the special thing is that the loans are actually funded by individuals' $25 contributions. So together, if Jason lends $25 and Adrian lends $25 and I lend $25, we've got a $75 loan that can help someone purchase equipment for their bakery or really invest in marketing for the business and take it to a new level. Um, so the unique thing about this tonight's event is that we're featuring four local entrepreneurs who we think are doing great work in the community. Each of them is at, they're at different stages in their business, but each of them is doing awesome work that we think is worth highlighting and sharing with you all so that you can maybe ask yourself over the course of the evening, how might I get involved in supporting this? Um, and really, tangibly, get behind it with your dollars. So, before we move into tonight's presentation, um, I'd like to uh, recognize and welcome Mayor Dane Walling, who is here with us this evening. So, we're gonna ask him to come up and say And we're really so fortunate to have you here tonight. So thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you and good evening, everyone. Let's thank again uh, Adrian from Flint Soup and Elizabeth from Kiva and also Jason Taylor with the Flint Area Reinvestment Office. Uh, this is my first Flint Soup, so I'm excited to join you here tonight. Uh, I have been a contributor to the Kiva uh, Zip platform and a few of our local businesses who got along that way. I just really believe that our local entrepreneurs 
are the individuals who are going to change uh, this community for the better. And some people just think, you know, uh, how can one business do that? How can one entrepreneur do that? But we're a community that was birthed by entrepreneurs in the lumber industry and in the carriage industry. And then, of course, uh, the entrepreneurs who started what became the world's largest corporation in the 20th century with General Motors and Billy Durant and Dallas Dort and everyone who was a part of that time. So a hundred years ago, people were getting together like this around what became a global industry. Uh, one of our entrepreneurs here tonight may be a part of that same movement. And the reason they're going to have that opportunity is because people like us got together to invest in them and give them an opportunity. So thank you all for being here and sharing your passion and your commitment to this community. I don't think any of us could make a better uh, 5 or $10 investment than in the businesses that we're going to hear from tonight. And I just can't wait to hear their stories and to see what they're offering you know, to their community and to themselves and to their families. So uh, thank you for bringing us together and we can't wait to hear the presentations later. Center for Hope, and that's what this building's called. And for many of you who had trouble finding it, I'm sorry about that, but once you've been here, now you know how to get here, and there's lots of parking. So um, Center for Hope, we took on this building, which was referred to before as School of Choice, and many of you probably remember that, for about 37 years they were in this building. And prior to that, it was a parochial school with St. Michael's Church, which is right across the road. So, um, Center for Hope has a lot to say um, what we plan on doing for the future here. We are in the silent phases of doing a capital campaign on this building. It's a huge building. It's 67,000 square feet. We run a warming center in here, a soup kitchen in here during the day. We have a community closet. We have a personal needs closet. We have adolescent services on, six, on the second floor. So we have lots of plans of how this building is going to be utilized for the future. And we think it's very important to the city of Flint. It's going to bring, when well, we named it Center for Hope, is because it brings hope to Flint. And that's what we believe in. Um, I'm excited all of you are here. I even get to share that little bit of the story because when you make it big, you'll remember our campaign and you'll get back some of your money. So I'm excited about that. And I'm excited to be connected because I really haven't been part of this Flint Soup or Kiva Flint. So um, I'm excited to hear the presentations just as well. But I just want to, if you don't know what Catholic Charities is, we have the building next door and the building next door to that. Just huge uh, human service agency. We have a lot of services. We do adoptions, foster care, mental health counseling, substance abuse counseling. I have contracts with Department of Corrections. We have three warming centers. We have three sandwich programs. We have um, transitional boarding house, case management services for the homeless. And uh, the list goes on and on and on and on. So it's pretty comprehensive. And somewhere along the lines, maybe you've had a family member, a neighbor, or someone you know that's utilized some of our services. We reach out to all of those who need our help. Doesn't matter what faith, doesn't matter economic status, it doesn't matter. We are here to serve the community. And Catholic Charities has really expanded a lot in the last five to six years. And that's, in fact, I came back to Flint after I had been working down in Jackson County for six and a half years. And now I've come back to Flint. And of course, when I came back, everybody said, Flint, you know, you know the stories. So I said, yeah, isn't that great? I found a job and I'm going back to Flint. So I've been back about six and a half years and I'm excited to say we've expanded. We look for where there's gaps and needs in the community and we really try to be there. So I'm excited to hear about all your business ventures too. And thank you for being here. God bless and pray for Catholic Charities. Thank you so much, Vicki. And really a huge thanks to Catholic Charities. They set this beautiful space up for us. So let's give them another round of applause for all the work they did. 
Wonderful. So the format for this evening, as you know, is we will have four presentations from four local entrepreneurs. So each entrepreneur will pitch their business to you for four minutes. And really what we've asked them to do is tell you about their business, what it's all about, and share with you some way that they would plan to put your funding to use. And the funding that we have to give out to a local business tonight is directly sourced from all of your $5 entry fees. So together, each of us bringing five bucks to the table, we have a grant that we'll be able to award at the end of the evening to one of these four local entrepreneurs. And more importantly, these entrepreneurs will be able to share their stories with you, build new relationships, connections, as Adrian had mentioned, which is really what this evening is all about. Um, so we'll move into that portion of the evening, and then we'll tell you about, kind of at the conclusion of those presentations, we'll invite you to actually go to the back of the room and vote. So you'll be able to write down um, which venture you think should walk away with a grant to kind of move their business idea forward. You'll drop that into the pot there, right? The pot of soup. Um, and then we also invite you to share your contact information in the back for what we call Team Kiva Flint. So anytime there's a business here in Flint that's fundraising through Kiva, you'll be notified as part of Team Kiva Flint if you'd like to go and read their story and invest in the business. Um, and then we'll move into the important part of tonight, dinner. <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw names from a bowl, um, and that's how we'll determine the order of presentations for this evening. So I think we can start here with our first one. And then Jason is gonna be the timekeeper, so. <laughs> So we will start, we will start tonight with Anthony Artis from Artis Collection of African American Fine Art. So Anthony, come on up. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Anthony Artis, and I am the proud owner of the Artist Collection of African American Fine Art. My business is simply this. We buy and sell authentic, limited edition, quality African American fine art. Uh, just like a stockbroker, our goal is to buy low and sell high, and to generate uh, above average return on investment. How my business impacts my community is fourfold. One, uh, the goal is to educate individuals regarding this genre, regarding this culture. As I began to learn about African American fine art and artists, I began to learn about my own black history, a uh, history that I didn't know about until I was a middle-aged 40-year-old uh, man. And basically, I want to use art to educate others, to also encourage people. Uh, I was inspired and just ecstatic hearing the overcoming stories of persons who, due to poverty, due to uh, biases and prejudices, they overcame uh, socioeconomic conditions in order to pursue their dream to um, create art. 